And hey, oh, I see that. Hi. Yeah. Are we up and live? Are we running? We're running. So it says on my end. So sweet, sweet, Here sweet. We go. So uh, welcome everyone to Breathe Life Ministries expert interview. We have Cindy K. Green with us today and Pink in the background. Barking. <laughs> hi everyone <laughs> so uh cindy has as i was saying earlier her oars in many waters <laughs> and so we have a we, there's just a lot that we can glean from cindy today let's just start with something fun how many grandkids do you have um we have 4.5 <laughs> see even that's an oar in the water right <laughs> yeah we have one on the way in august oh my so, yes God. we're hoping for another girl yes. that would give us two grand girls and three grand boys oh my and goodness aged eight to not here yet <laughs> <laughs> 2.5 <laughs> We have we have 4.5 that's what i tell everybody 4.5 we ain't hit the 5g yet <laughs> oh my gosh i love it <laughs> uh, yeah oh that's awesome and whereabouts are you in the united states of america i am in oklahoma central united states the heartland whatever you want to call it um we actually live in the oldest town in oklahoma which is fort gibson Okay. okay so it's kind of an interesting little town okay what's the closest big city uh like major city would be tulsa okay we're like 43 miles from tulsa and we have muskogee and telequa which are fairly decent size but you know for everybody to really get an idea tulsa would be the closest one okay okay that's good that gives it that gives a point of ref reference i I visited Tulsa on our way from when we moved out here to Tennessee. Um, we were traveling with a friend of ours. She, mm -hmm. she joined along because she was moving to this area too. And um, she had friends in Tulsa. So we spent the night there and oh, it was, wow. so, yeah, it was so nice. We, you know, the, this couple just opened up their home and um, gave us a really comfy bed to sleep in. And we'd been on the road for, oh, over a week at that point. It was so nice. Oh, I bet, I bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is one thing about you, Cindy, that people would never guess? They would probably never guess that I held a state record in the 440 in eighth grade oh in my Colorado. God. Right on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is awesome. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I still hold it or not. I'm sure it's been beat by now. But uh, yeah, it was so a you state You were in the track. You were a big. Oh, player. yes. You name it. I probably done it. List oh of sport my... and I've probably done it. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. That is what, so what was your favorite? Was track your favorite? Basketball. Nope. Basketball. basketball. Hands down. Basketball is my favorite. And up until probably two years ago, three years ago, I guess, um, I hadn't been in contact with my very first basketball coach in seventh grade. And two years ago, I finally got to contact her email. And so we've been in contact, which reminds me I need to email her. But yeah, uh, she, she was very impactful in my life. Oh my she gosh. really was. What was, what would you say was her major contribution to you? Um, to never give up mm -hmm. that. Um, and it's really weird because uh -huh. I, I wasn't in church, you know, as a, as a child. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the way she coached us and everything, it was one of those, no matter what you think, no matter what others say, you're good and you're worthy. So don't give up. Oh. And it's, it's weird how that message then is what I want to give out there now. But you know what I'm saying? How yeah. I, I didn't take it spiritually then, you know, I was just yeah. like, okay, 
she believes that I can do this. So there we go. And yeah, she was very impact. She, she made an impact on me. Miss uh, Coach Tricks. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So that is awesome. I wish I could say hi to her because I'd hope she'd be listening, but she doesn't have Facebook. So oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's rocking it old school. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she is. So that is, that is awesome. So well, yeah, since, that's, a, um, that's a tidbit people don't know. I love it. That is, I, that is, that is exactly the type of answer I was hoping for something. <laughs> so I love that. That is so cool. Well, cool. Um, okay. So let's dive into what brings you to the expert interview. You and I know each other, not only through the expo, but through Christian women living and right. shout out to Stephanie. Hey, Steph. And and everyone else from Christian Women Living who is who is watching, we'll, um, we're we're not able to see the posts that you're doing, but we will get to those in a moment. So just right. be posting, be commenting, ask your questions, and we will definitely be responding to those in a little bit. Um, but Cindy, you are a are a content manager for Christian Women Living. That's how we know each other. Right. Um, so tell us a little bit about what you do at Christian Women Living. Um, you name it, I do it. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of fell into the role. So it, uh -huh. it's really, um, you know, basically I'm, I'm trying to gather writers and get a, a feel for what their topics are or what they're, what they want to write about, where God's leading them to write. And we, we kind of organize it all and get them set up on a writing schedule and, oh, you know, make sure they're going to be a good fit because, you know, and, and we've said it time and time again, Stephanie and I have said it time and time again, the magazine is first and foremost, a ministry, you know, for the women out there who just need that, that hope, that little glimpse of hope or, or something to let them know that they're not alone. Right. You know, and so we always, we always, always say it's a ministry and that God leads us. You know, if, if mm -hmm. God brings us people who have a, a certain message, well, that's, that's the way they'll go. You know what I'm saying? It's all God led. So basically I follow God, <laughs> Yeah. you know, um, and he has brought some really, really amazing writers to the to the team it, yes. it's been a wild ride he's yes. been in this from day one it's really cool that is a fact <laughs> yeah, that is that is a fact and how did you how did you get to christian women living that's the crazy part uh -huh. um i had no idea who stephanie kelly was uh -huh. did not know her at all and um i had been in different writing groups you know writing opportunity groups secular and christian both because okay. i was like okay i'm going to get out there mm -hmm. and she just had this post you know wanting some some writers and i'm like hey here i am da, 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 da. and that's how it happened you oh, know wow. and it just progressed from there and the next thing we know we're where we are today wow and it, it's pretty cool that is that um, is I'm, I'm in awe you know because when you google us before we were like on page 100 billion yes and, and now i think we are we are on page one when you google so it's it's amazing how it we is. come it in is a little over a year that and you know to get to that point in less than a year is nothing short of miraculous yeah it's it's all god i mean because yeah. you know and me and steph we we stay in contact constantly mm -hmm. but um still at the end of the day we go to bed and we're like God has got us every single time. Just when we think, okay, well, we're going to, cause she'll come with me, come to me with an idea or I'll go to her with an idea. And it's really weird how we were both going to have that idea. <laughs> and it just, and then here we have other people coming in saying, Hey, have you thought about this? So it's like confirmation. Yes. Every time, yes. every time something new happens on the magazine, you can bet that at least three people were, were involved because God used all three to confirm that's what he wanted for the magazine. It's crazy. Uh, Mind blowing. It is. <laughs> it is. It is. Uh, that, um, um, you know what I'm realizing in this moment is that in it, it, you kind of need to just sit back and take that in because yeah. that is when God, when God is in, in it, 
when God is behind it, when God is through it, 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 uh, it explodes. It just, it does. It, it, it's it, like, it is, it's like, yeah, it takes on his, it takes on the shape and the form and everything that he wants. And it just goes, I mean, mm-hmm. there's just, it just goes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Little to no effort required. I mean, you, you still have to manage it. You still have to tend to it. He oh, doesn't yeah. do it for you, but he takes that little bit and then. Yeah. Yeah. It, um, it, it's so amazing. Sometimes I sit and I'll think about it and I, I, I see us, you know, like in, in these little corner office cubicles you know Uh I have this like like this uh what's one of those tv shows about magazines you know you know what I'm saying how they have all those little cubicles I see all of us writers in those little cubicles going back and forth (laughs) and and me and Stephanie are like this and it's just so funny and I think god you just cracked me up how you do this you know Uh it's kind of cool I'm I'm so I'm blessed by that I truly am very cool so what got you into writing god um, and I know that sounds bad because every Lord actor is God, but it, it truly is. Yeah, you know, I I've always written well. I think you know in school when we did essays and stuff, I didn't have problems with it. I loved English class, uh-huh. you know, so I've always enjoyed it. But I didn't go to school for it. I didn't. Mm-hmm. In all honesty, I never seen myself as a writer until about in the nineties. Mm-hmm. Sometime in the nineties is when. God began to put it into my spirit that that's what I was going to be. That was going to be my platform of sharing his word was going to be the written word, you know, and I was going to be writing it in in that way, you know, some speaking, but I was going to be writing. So that, um, and I just began to sit down one day and I started writing like um, inspirational stories, you know, like um, I'd see eagles and I'd write a story about how eagles soar and you know on the wings mm-hmm. of the eagles will soar and we'll do this and then that uh and I don't even remember because it's been a while but yeah right. just things like that right right yeah, so it, it, oh. it's been very interesting I've enjoyed it I, I miss it when I don't write mm-hmm. <laughs> yes yes I, I can kind of relate because um when I was a kid I struggled really badly with spelling and writing was a chore but yet there was something about holding a pen in my hand Mm -hmm. that i just loved and i'd get these little diaries and right i wouldn't even know what to put in there but i was compelled yeah see and i never had a diary i never had a diary or a journal until my first one well it wasn't really a diary i i say i was probably married by then 18 uh-huh. 19 years old I was married and it was just a notebook that I would write stuff in in the oh, evenings wow. you know but my very first journal my sister gave to me my first time um when I first had breast cancer the first time oh, he gave wow. me a journal to to write out in and I still use it today I haven't ever filled it up because it's one of those deals where I'll I'll go for a while and not journal and then I'll journal and it's like 10 pages and then I don't journal and then it's like 10 pages you know it's just back and forth so I still have it yeah I I I have to say I'm like a I think I'm a journal hoarder (laughs) oh no you're not (laughs) no I I have this one and then and then I have my notebooks right You want to see journal hoarder woman? Come on now. There's just four. There's four. Oh my There's god. There's two more. And that's not including the ones that I make. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I think you do have me beat. Yeah, I'm a journal woman. And I've got this one. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Speaking that of. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Let me see. Speaking of, um, did you receive the package yet? It was supposed to be there today. Oh my gosh. Well, you know, maybe I should go run to the mailbox and see if it's there. <laughs> to you. I, I've been, I was looking at my, um because I get those little notifications. Right. In the mail that tell me when I have something here. But, oh, wait a minute. Was it coming mail or UPS or? Uh, no, it's coming in the mailbox. It's coming in the mailbox. Okay. Because my 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 little um, 
I get that little preview of what's coming to me yeah. in my in, in inbox and it didn't say it was there. Hmm. But that doesn't mean they aren't wrong. They, they <laughs> True. True. <laughs> um did it did you get a notification that it was supposed to arrive today? Well, um maybe it's tomorrow let me check because okay. i got it right here i can check while we're here so if you want to ask another question okay let me ask another question um well since we're on the subject of journals talk to us about the journey shop what oh the journey oh. shop um again total god thing if you uh -huh. would ask me a couple of years ago if i wanted to make journals i'd have said what are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> because i was in a really cushy job that was really easy Mm-hmm. With good money. Right. Why would I want to quit? <laughs> <laughs> well, I quit because God said it's time to move forward. And I'm like, okay, because I've been praying for years. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, God, I'm ready to write. When am I gonna be able to write? Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just like trying to force this situation. And um, <clears throat> so last year during the middle of a pandemic, I was led to quit my job. Right. And um, of course, that's when the magazine was really starting to pick up. And, yes. and that's when Stephanie kind of positioned me over here into the content manager. Mm -hmm. And um, so I was like, okay, okay. Well, what am I going to do about, you know, money? And I had made a couple of journals for the church for a giveaway for our ladies mm -hmm. meeting. Yeah. And I showed them on Facebook and that just exploded. I mean, that's where it started. Uh -huh. And I was like, okay, so that's where the journey shop was born the mm -hmm. name actually comes from um i used to think about what my what i what what i want in a ministry you know i was asked what do you want you know and i was like well i want people to know that the journey is beautiful that that we're all on this journey so it all surround it all centered around journey mm -hmm. and i was like well okay so we can make some journey journals for people to have a journal to you know, for their journey when they, right. as they walk with Christ, right. wherever it may go, they right. have this journal to keep track. So that's oh. where it was born. And it's just been going ever since. <laughs> oh my gosh. Isn't that funny? Again, you know, when God yeah. is absolutely behind things, yeah, you, you, all you do is walk in the steps that he's laid out and then he does the rest. And I've always wondered that, you know, people would always say, well, just take that step of faith and you, you just never know where you're going to go. And I'm like, but I am. Well, I thought I was until when he tells you to walk away from the kind of job I had. Yeah. I would, I cried for three weeks. I would cry thinking about it because I didn't know. I was like, what if it's not right? What if I'm not hearing it? What if it's just something I want so bad because I had been praying right. to be able to stay home and write and everything. And you know, so I thought, what if it's just me? What if it's just my want so badly and I quit this job and and then one day, the day I went to work, because I'd been off for the the <clears throat> pandemic, you know, right. they had closed right. our, the casino pretty much. Uh -huh. And I took um I took the admin leave. I volunteered to take it. Uh -huh. So I went when I got called back to work, I was there one day and I had been crying that morning, you know, and my, my supervisor's like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine, you know, and um, finally, towards the end of the day, I just turned around. And I said, okay, I'm giving you my two weeks notice, and she, like, fell out of her chair. Oh, wow. Um, it was just like that, you know. I mean, I just knew it was time, and right. from there forward, every step of the way, God has supplied, whether it be I need money for ink, or we need paper, right. or whatever it is or even getting a bill paid in the house which i mean he's supplied everything everything i've needed and wow. i'm like okay so that's what that's like <laughs> <laughs> and it just keeps getting sweeter oh. <laughs> you know, the whole song you know that song um, yes it just gets sweeter i love that song i wish i could remember it i can't write off the top of my head but yes i always used to think what what that's like well that's what it's like it just you wow. never know <laughs> So it really is about listening to the voice of the Lord mm -hmm. and stepping out in obedience and knowing with confidence. I mean, I know, it, like, like you said, there's those moments, there's those moments, but 
knowing with confidence he's he's gonna yeah he, he's gonna he's gonna it, it's a whole nother level of trust it, right. it truly is because um i mean i would have never thought it i would have never i've dreamed of being able to stay home you know and just yeah. write and, and do my thing but yeah journals <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I only made those because I wanted to make one for me. I have a fascination with the traveler journals. You okay. know, those leather ones that wrap yes. around. I love yes. those things. So that's where the idea is based on for my journals that I make is based on that. Because um, I wanted to make one for me. So that's what I did. Yeah. And then a lady at church, you know, she's like, can you make some of those for church? I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and it just went from there. Oh, man, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Well, let's take a quick a quick look here and see if we've got any comments. So let's see. Let's see here. I've just got to get to it. Okay. It always takes me just a second to find it. There we are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yay, we're found. Yep, and I've got to mute Let's it. Take a quick look. There we go. And <laughs> going back in time here. Ah, yes, we do have some comments. Let's take a peek. Oh my goodness, hey. we got lots. So Stephanie's here and Jill is hey, here. Steph. Hi, Thank you. And so it looks like it's Stephanie and Jill so far. Let's see if we got some questions. They're saying hi, so we're saying hi back. Hi. And let's see. Oh, Stephanie's saying that's one of my favorite parts of working on the magazine. Oh, the whole God thing, right, Steph? I mean, yeah, we meet her always get a kick out of that because, you know, like I said, you can always bet there's going to be at least three people involved in it. Mm. And we never know which three. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, and uh, Kendra. Oh, was Kendra on there? Yes, she Kendra is. Medlin. Hi, Kendra. She says, Cindy is amazing. She Aww. is faithful and so creative. Oh, well, thanks, Kendra. I love you, sister. I totally agree. And Stephanie says she's enjoying the conversation. Yay. Yay. So if you've got any questions for Cindy, please go ahead and pop those in. I'm going crazy here. Hold on. I got to mute something. <laughs> no problem. Multitasking, multitasking. Yeah, always. So I'm going to minimize this screen so I can get back to this one. So let's see here. We've covered your writing. We've covered the journey shop. Let's talk about this next project that you and I were discussing. Ooh, yeah. And it's the book you're writing, and it's like a primer, right? Like yeah, a, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So you go ahead and describe it. Well, I don't have a lot of description yet because God just didn't give me all that. But, um, you know, because I'd like to do devotionals, and I wanted yes. to do um, like Bible study devotionals, but I don't want to do the long ones because, you know, right. really, I mean, a 45-day devotional is pretty good to me. You know, you get anything more than that. And I'm, I'm afraid that you kind of lose momentum. Yeah. So 45 days seems to get you where you need to go. And so I got to think about that. And then I thought, well, what about short little Bible studies? You know, it doesn't have to be this long, year long process, just short ones, you know, maybe a chapter mm -hmm. two here or, or a topic. And he began to pour into me different topics. And, and mm -hmm. one that's really stuck out lately is, um, I don't want to say Christian 101 or Bible 101, but it's like foundations, you know, getting our foundation under us because so many, mm -hmm. they know the word, they've heard the word, but do they know the living word Jesus, you know, and, Very and how, how we can actually depend on that. So I thought maybe a, a, foundation study to help right. them see how to pull it in and, and pull it together mm -hmm. that's what i'm seeing yes so. 
Yes. That brought me to you. Now you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, my, my, um, what, one of the things that I am seeing and is just being impressed on me over and over and over again. Well, it, it's like, it's, 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 it's kind of twofold, really. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. what I'm seeing. And then when I go to do my live streams, it's like very similar to what you're talking about. It's like um, right now I'm working on rooted from being firmly rooted. Right, right. It's that foundation. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And what I'm seeing is that there is, there is, and I've and I've actually been talking to my pastors about this um, because I'm working on an article right now too on the trustworthiness of God's word. Mm -hmm. And in my conversation with my pastor, my <clears throat> associate pastor, I've posed the question to them. Why is it that people seem to be more Bible illiterate today mm -hmm. than at any point in American history? Um, it, we have more access to the Bible right more access to study guides and more yeah, access always. to bible teaching than we have ever had yet people are more ignorant and i mean this in the word in the word illiterate yeah They're more illiterate in the word of god than at any point in history because it doesn't fit the agenda yeah you know, the, the way society's agenda is you know nowadays walking a Christian lifestyle doesn't fit the agenda. So a lot of us or a lot of people are lukewarm, so to speak. You know, they're not wanting to really, they know they need that foundation. Right. But for fear of what's going to be said over here, they step away from the foundation. So they keep walking this walk and, you know, how do we pull them in? How do we there you get go. to understand that, you walk that foundation and all this other stuff isn't going to matter because the favor and the blessings of God are way more. The treasures of what God has are way more than what we're ever going to find in this world. But how do we get them to see it? And so oh it's going to be a matter of writing it in a way that, that kind of speaks to that. You know what I mean? Right. And I know because we have talked about it and we're yeah. on the same page. It's just, it hurts my heart to see that. It it's yes like, you're missing the point <laughs> yes yeah it's it, 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 and and asking questions that are so you know like what i see is i'll see questions posed and i and i was saying this to um when i was talking to yeah. with my associate pastor brian i go i'm seeing questions being asked that if i mean they're so elementary it, 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 yeah. I mean, in other words, I was like, if you read one page of your Bible, you'd know the answer to that. Right. But they're honest to goodness questions. They're not, they're not being obstinate with the question. They right, right. really want to know. But I'm like, why, why don't you know? Yeah, because, yeah. They just, you know, it, it's just a matter of, okay, I go to church, but that's it. You know, they don't. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. and I want to encourage them. Let's let's do something during the week. Come with me. Journey with me through this. You know, let's yeah. journey through this this foundation, building this foundation, and and you can find those answers. You know, it, it's yeah, right. yeah. And I, you know, and I think you know one thing that <clears throat> just as we're talking about this, and and people that are listening right now. Please put your feedback in here as well. Oh, yes, most definitely, because we are extremely serious about this project. I mean, we we, yeah. we are going to collaborate on it and get it out there. One of the things that I have noticed is that people that <laughs> we, I was just reading this today and it just came to my mind. It's in Ephesians, speaking the truth in love yes speaking the truth in love we don't i i know if 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 you're 
uh, I hate to say it this way, but kind of old school Christian, like, like we oh, are, there. right? <laughs> Like, That's I mean, what we need. We need that foundation, old school Christian. Come on, sister. Yeah. <laughs> we can get a little pissy. <laughs> and we're not. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> like, when we see these questions, we can be like, what? <laughs> and we can, yeah. we can kind of, and, I, and I've seen this, I've seen this, where, where, bless our hearts <laughs> we old you know we who've been mm -hmm. walking this road a long time we who you know grew up in our awanas classes where we were memorizing or pioneer girls right or king's daughters <laughs> where we were you know memorizing scriptures from the day that we can walk and you know quoting john three sixteen from the day we could talk we can get a little knee-jerk reactive um Mm -hmm. And when we see these questions, we're like, well, just get your Bible out and read it. Exactly. <laughs> and I, I know what you're talking about. I see that as well. And, <laughs> and that's a quick turnoff. You know, is. you go at somebody like that and they're going to be like, well, excuse me. Yeah. If that's what Christian is. I'm out. Don't exactly. count me in. Exactly. So, so we have to embrace that. Even if we think they should know it. The key is mm -hmm. we don't know where they are with God. We no. don't know what God tells them. No. And we have to respect that. Right. It's because we think they should because of their age or whatever it may be. Right. That doesn't matter, you know. And, and I learned that the hard way. I've learned mm -hmm. never, never think you know what a person is supposed to do for God or what God has told them or showed them or whatever because you don't know. Right. Unless unless he absolutely needs to bring you in to help to have you help guide that person, you're not going to know their ministry, their calling. I mean, you will once it comes mm -hmm. to fruition. But mm -hmm. until then, you keep your mind, you, you keep your nose out of someone else's godly business. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mean I, I mean, there's a limit, you know. Right. Um, yeah, you just you just can't. So we have to take when they ask those questions that we think. Well, I think you should know the answer. Mm -hmm. We have to step back and say, here, let I've got a Bible right here. Let's look and see what it says. We right. carry one. How many of us have a phone? Yeah, yeah, Come on. on now. Come yeah, on. Hello. There is a, a Bible on everybody's phone. That's we right. Pull up a scripture anytime we need to. That's right. And I think, you know, I think back to when I was a kid and, you know, there were those dear and precious people that would spoon feed me scripture. I mean, literally just open your mouth. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so gentle and loving. And, you know, um, it, it ignited my hunger to know more. Oh, wow. You know, and, and I, I think that, that is, you know, I, you know, what just came to my mind just now too, was that scripture where Paul was saying, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of leaders, but not many fathers. Yeah. Yeah. And Lisa Bever, um, girls with swords, she wrote, she's right, right, right. Yeah. Yes. She's writing this one book or just released this one book called Godmothers. And she's talking. Yes, I've to seen that. It's like yes. on my to buy list. <laughs> yes. And I, as I've been looking at that, I'm going, you know, that there, we need to be godmothers. Mm -hmm. We need to be those sweet and gentle, kind spirits that when these, when these questions come up, we just gently spoon feed them. Yeah. And the it's word okay. Of God. Yeah. Okay, yeah. they're, they're not going to know if, you know, if we're being rude and sarcastic and, oh, I don't have time to answer a question. You should already know. Then what are we doing? You know, we're right. doing the exact opposite of what Jesus would expect us to do. Condemning you know? them for even asking the question. Exactly. I mean, I don't want to be condemned. So why do I want to run around condemning somebody for not knowing? Because you know what? I don't know it all either. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and trust me, I don't have it all together. 
Halloween. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, let's I had it all together. I'd have been here on time, right? <laughs> yeah. A friend of mine, a friend of mine said, um, I, I asked her a question. This was during the interview that I did with my friend Tammy um, last oh, week. Yeah, I've seen that. And yeah, you, you had some great questions. Um, and and, I, and I, I asked her this one question and she goes, I think if I had the answer to that, my life, my mission in life would be over. There you go. There you go. I guess that's why most of my answers are God. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick peek here and see if we've got some other questions. All right. Uh, I'm pretty excited to do that uh, Bible study with you too. Oh, yes. I am too. Let's see. Oh, Stephanie has a question. Of what course. Do you see yourself doing in 10 years. Oh, thanks, Steph. In 10 years. Yes. Let me figure out my age first. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> um, well, I would hope that I would have progressed in a in a way that that God's will is still well not still, but I want to progress in the in the manner that God's god would want for my life you know and and i don't know what it's going to look like mm -hmm. um i could sit here and say oh man i would love to be the the person of 10 best sellers in 10 years mm -hmm. or you know have the the top leading ladies ministry podcast but right. i don't know what i will have but if i will at least have progressed and have touched at least one life through ministry then I'm, I, I think I'm successful. I think that I'm following what God would have. Mm -hmm. So in 10 years, I hope to be sitting here telling you some more stories about the journey shop and, <laughs> and journey with me ministries. And who knows Christian yeah. women living may be in print by then. We don't there know. You, go. you know, it's just, there's so much that I can see. I don't know. Yeah. I just know that's what success and that that's where I would hope to be is just continuing this path of fully trusting God to lead me in his will. Amen. So, yeah. Yeah. I, you know, it's funny. One of the things and that I have been impressed upon, um, is I think born out of you know, if, if 10 years ago, if I look back 10 years ago, I would be scared. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I, I'd be scared. I mean, 10 years ago. Mm, oh, totally different person. <laughs> yeah, me, me as well. And I looked at success and what I wanted to see 10 years from then way differently. Yes. And I remember god leading me to this one passage in the bible and i was like but god <laughs> you know <laughs> <laughs> and it was this really obscure passage where it was in the old testament and um this one you know kind of you know big name prophet was talking to one of his um i don't know one of his students or right um, right or maybe it was a servant it was somebody who was walking you know kind of along his side but being mentored and taught right, him. right and the the prophet saw what was coming to israel and this and he was talking to his servant and his servant had these big dreams right these big aspirations right right and these big ambitions and um the prophet looks at me and goes, are you seeking great things for yourself? Oh, do not seek them. Yeah. And I was like, but God, we're supposed to dream big. We're supposed to. And I couldn't understand. And I was kind of heartbroken and crestfallen by that. And I was like, this isn't what I wanted to hear from you. But what he what I realize now is he was planting a seed in my heart. It wasn't uh -huh. that he was trying to crush my dreams. It was that he was wanting me to come to a place where I'm starting to see it now. And that is that God takes the littlest tiny thing mm -hmm. 
and does incredibly huge things with it. Exactly. Yes. And like I when I, I saw that today today or yesterday yesterday with this story I posted on Breathe Life Ministries of this little boy who'd lost his mother and father. He was an orphan in in Savannah, Georgia. And he was like maybe 10 years old. And he he wanted he, he was walking around and seeing people all sad and he wanted to make them smile. So he asked his, his um, foster mom to help him buy these little tiny toys, you know, just little right. tiny toys. And he would go up to random people and hand it to them and say, this is to make, help you smile. Oh, wow. And he would just look for people that weren't smiling. And he'd go up to them and he'd hand them this toy and say, I just want to see you smile. Wow, what an impact. Yeah. And some people would just burst into tears and hug exactly. him. Exactly. hold him. Oh, wow. And I was like, are you seeking big things for yourself? Exactly. And it's so funny you should say that because mm -hmm. 10 years ago. Right. You know, I, I was not even, I had given up on the writing, you know, yeah. I had yeah. totally given up on it. I was like, God, you know, you say I'm a writer, it's not coming to fruition. So I, you know, I don't know what else to do. I think right. I just misheard you. So I just gave it up. Right. And right. then, you know, it's, it's been a few years. Mm -hmm. It seems as though that same scripture uh -huh. was like, whose dreams you chase and yours or mine yes you know and I was like oh snap yeah. and once I realized to let my dreams go and whether or not you want to call it crushing my dreams or whatever here's the grandest thing of all his dreams for me are so much sweeter than my dreams ever were how can I not want his dreams you know right. and that's that's when I begin to get into my mindset where I am now is like his dreams are better yeah you know? and yeah. I just told I told my husband today you know I, I get frustrated sometimes at at things and I'm like you know it'd just be so much easier to go to work rather than yeah. try to fight this fight and do this thing that God wants me to do mm -hmm. you know and of course I'm like yes Lord I, I I know you know I'm not giving it up but man the battle some days is just like can I just go to an eight to five job? <laughs> yes, yes. I'm going to be real with y'all. Some days, give me eight to five. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. I think, you know, one of the other lessons that I'm processing right now is that God is my employer, right? Yes, thank <laughs> you. Thank you. <laughs> no better payment not always the kind of payment we look for but it comes so yeah yep. yep yep and he meets all of our needs he is whether we're at that eight to five or whether we are doing what we're doing mm -hmm. it's god who is our provider exactly it it, it it it's he is the provision he is the supply so how right. he chooses to do it is how he chooses to do it exactly exactly yeah. and and i had to learn that it wasn't my season before you know it wasn't my season to be home and be seeking the things and doing the things i'm doing now right. it was my season to be in an eight to five right you know mm -hmm. um and it's okay now yeah. <laughs> maybe because i'm actually there i don't yeah. know but um I, I it, it that's one thing I, I realized, you know, and that's what I want, you know, I tell people, it'll come. It yeah. will come. If he has promised you, if he has shown you that, give you the vision, told you that's what you're gonna do, it will come. It will. It when will. that season is right, when he he's gathering things, he's putting things in place, he's putting people in place because I guarantee you, I would have never met the people I met, not only at the expo, but at the at the magazine. I yes. mean, yes, I've never met him. 100. Yeah, here it is. You know, those are my connections. That's my kingdom connections. And that's how 
I can fulfill my kingdom purpose. You know, right. it's all about the kingdom, which is right here. You know, yes. so yes, yeah, totally agree with you. Let's take one more look and see if we've got any other questions here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Well, I think that is. That was the last of the questions. Well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I tend to cover details way too much, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. Well, Cindy, what's one last, um, one last thought you'd like to leave us with? Oh, goodness. If you'd have asked me this earlier, I could have told you now. I just... Um, my last thought that I would... Oh gosh, trust, trust your foundations. Wow. You know, trust. Cause it's really crazy. I, like I said, back in the nineties is when God began showing me mm -hmm. writing and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I got excited and I was like, okay, let's go. I was ready to do it then. He showed mm -hmm. it to me now. So it's got to be coming to pass now. And I became frustrated and I became I got to the point where, like I said, I just gave up because yeah. I didn't have that. I had a foundation of who God was, my relationship with him. You know, I gained all that as I went through chemo. Um, mm -hmm. But I didn't have that trust, that foundational trust that right. sold out. Okay, I'll, I'll wait, you know, you know, like the song says, I'm, is it a song or? Um, I'll wait no matter how long or something like that. It's about, yeah. I, I will, I will be waiting. I don't know. I can't remember. There's so many songs about it, but um, you know, just, just wait, just be still and wait. Yeah. And, and it'll come because he's faithful. He is a faithful God through and through his word. He's faithful on every promise that he's ever given anybody. And if he's given you a promise, he is going to fulfill it because you are worthy. I don't care what the world says. I don't care what the pastors or other women or children or family members. I don't care what they say. Mm -hmm. You're worthy. Mm -hmm. If he gives you a promise, he will fulfill it. And he's, he's going to give you a promise. There's no ifs. He gives yeah. everybody a promise. He does. Everybody has a promise. He's going to fulfill that. And you're worthy. You're yeah. so worthy and valuable. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, don't let your value hang on others' words. Oh, isn't that a fact? Yeah, um, I was talking to a friend and we were talking about how women, for the most part, tend to get hung up on being worthy so much more. You know, for us, it's a constant battle to feel worthy, whether we're competing, you know, it's like a competition. We, we yeah. grow up in that mindset well you're never going to be good enough unless you're like this or you're not good enough unless you're like that or unless you can do this and mm -hmm. you know there comes a point where you have to say no god right. makes me worthy that's right you know that's so right. trust your foundation know he will fulfill his promise and know that you are valuable and worthy yeah that's three things sorry that's okay <laughs> okay that's okay i that it's perfect it's a perfect note to end this interview on well everyone thank you um thanks everyone i appreciate it yes thank you for having me um i want to say it has been a joy getting to know you you oh. know you know we we've kind of interacted through the magazine but mm -hmm. then we really got connected in that expo and it has been such a joy i am so blessed Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited to be working with you. It just blows my mind. One, that you asked about the journal for your book. That just blew oh. my mind. And I was just like, oh, thank you, Lord. You know, I was just so, <laughs> it was amazing. And then to come to me and want to collaborate on this Bible study is yes. just, it is totally awesome. So thank you. I appreciate oh. it. You, oh, you man. are well, such an inspiration. You. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And I, I, you know, very much so, very much so feel the same way about you, Cindy, very much so.
and that journal is gorgeous you guys i i if it, if i run out to my mailbox and it is there i'm gonna be coming back live and showing it um, to you. <laughs> i had it up uh, i think it may be tomorrow it may be tomorrow well then i will go live tomorrow and show it off and and uh um, and you'll get to see it tomorrow, but it is, it is, beautiful. I'm excited. Yeah. The pictures are gorgeous. I can't wait. Yeah. And, it, it, um, it turned it, out so amazing. I'm happy. Oh, I for you. <laughs> <laughs> I am too. And if you are watching this on the recast, please do leave your questions and your comments and your insights. Yes. I will. We will come back and look, you know, or whatever you need to do, but yeah. Absolutely. She'll either get them to me or I'll come back and look at it. And please share this video and like this video so that others can benefit from the discussion. Yes. Um, and where can they find, one last thing, where can oh. they find you, Cindy? Find me. Um, of course, um, there's the shop on the Facebook and there's, uh, it's the Journey Shop on Facebook, Journey With Me Ministries on Facebook, and my website, which... I am still going, or well, I'm not still. Let me rephrase that. It's a continuous work in progress. I think anybody with a website yeah, and a blog you know, is always yeah, continually never. working on it. But that is at www.cyndikay.net. Okay. And we so, can we can put that in the comments as well. Yes, yes. Because um, I don't want to say Cindy K because somebody may spell it right or wrong. And it's, you know. Right. I'm, the, I'm one of the weird ones. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, everybody. And uh, we will see you next week on Expert Interviews. All right. Uh, and I, I will be posting who our next guest is. Unfortunately, I don't have it off the top of my head. I but we have remember. two great ones coming up. We have Shauna Wright. Yeah. And we have Brittany. Um, Brittany uh, coming up, too. So um, be staying tuned. And thank you so much, Cindy. Thank All you. Right, thank you, Donna. Who participated. All we right. Love you. Bye, everyone. And I'm going to stop.